Hi, I'm Rob Cosman. Welcome to our workshop. This is the closing day of the first workshop that we've actually held here in our new shop in Grand Bay, New Brunswick. It happens to be our 10th Purple Heart Project workshop. We just concluded five grueling days? Five. Just five days. Not just grueling. five days, not grueling. Fairly we good. had seven civilians in the class with seven combat wounded veterans. And these are the seven civilians that we all, pardon me, these are most of the seven civilians. We've had a couple that uh, had to leave early. But I want to make, spend just a minute letting them give you some final thoughts of their impression. People are attracted to the workshop for the woodworking, but what we experience with the five days with these vets goes far beyond anything that woodworking could even come close to. However, it's all tied in together. And the goal that I want you guys to do, or my goal for what we're going to do here, is I want you to convince others, based on the experience that you've had, to consider coming here and why they should. So uh, you can start anywhere. Who wants to speak first? Go ahead, Jim. You're all puckered <laughs> up and ready. Hi, I'm Jim O'Shaughnessy. I uh, live in the Niagara Falls, Fenwick area. Um, came here not knowing really what... Uh, what I was going to learn or what we were going to do. Uh, all I know is I've always enjoyed woodworking. Um, just retired from Emirates Airline. Um, I was a captain with them for the last 14 and almost 15 years. Um, and uh, came back to Canada because of some health reasons. But the uh, it's just been an amazing, an amazing week. Uh, drove up here. Uh, got to help out with setting up some of the shop here. Um, it was, uh, from the moment I arrived, it was it was a family. And uh, it was uh, very touching uh, the way that Rob says, can you paint? And uh, sort of just handed me a paintbrush and, and away I went. Uh, as far as the woodworking is concerned, I, I never realized how much you have to know uh, as, and how easy it is when someone teaches it and speaks the way that uh, Rob does. He, he has so much knowledge and has so much wealth of knowledge that he wants to give people and it's, it's just phenomenal and he expresses it uh, so, so well. Um, learning how to use tools, but learning how to use tools, hand tools properly. Uh, it's just a, an extraordinary uh, person. Uh, and the, the other experience with, with all these guys and the, uh, the other seven wounded veterans uh, from Canada and the United States, um, uh, it's been a, a journey of knowledge, it's been an emotional journey, um, and it's something I would never ever give up. It's, uh, it's been absolutely extraordinary. Uh, and all you have to do is uh, see Rob and his family. They, uh, Jake is behind the uh, camera, and the other extended family is Super Dave, and uh, the kids join us here, uh, usually in the evening for supper, and they all have smiles. Uh, it's been, uh, it's, been a true, <laughs> it's been a true uh, learning process, and uh, uh, I, I wish I could express myself more. It's just been fantastic. Thank you. Yep, thank you. I'll go next. So I'm Bryant Christensen from Warham, Utah, and I heard about the shop. I'd seen a little, a few of the videos online from robcosman.com. Anyway, uh, been into woodworking a little bit. Uh, wanted to perfect my skills and uh, was invited by Rob just as uh, a guest or a civilian uh, attendee. And I am amazed at what I've learned, number one. And uh, number two, what uh, as, as uh, Jim has referred to as the the wonderful project that he has going with the Purple Heart and these wounded vets, I had no idea. Uh, there was so much, so many people out there that were damaged because of the service that they have provided to protect us and to protect our rights. And uh, it has been a, it's been a pleasure. I wanted to just speak quickly onto the skill that we've learned. Um, Rob has done a perfect job of step by step walking us through. And uh, I, my wife had seen a couple of the dovetail joints that I had attempted before, 
and I've shown the pictures and sent pictures of them, the ones that I've learned to do here. And it's, it is amazing. She's impressed <laughs> that you've done well. So thank you. You're welcome. A slide? Who wants to go? I'll go. My name's Clay Carson. I'm from uh, Little Rock, Arkansas. Um, you know, I came up here really not knowing exactly what to expect, but uh, I came up to learn some woodworking. I've been, I've been woodworking for 20 years and was never really happy with uh, the quality level that I put out. Most other uh, folks that looked at it said, oh, this stuff looks great, but I knew, you know, it wasn't as precise as it needed to be. So I started researching it and came across a bunch of YouTube videos with some guy named Rob Cosman. Started watching him and realized that, um, well, I realized he knew what he was talking about, and I also realized he was an excellent instructor um, and that he had a system for success. So, took a chance and I, I came up here and I wasn't disappointed. I, I learned, you know, like I said, I've been working 20 years, but I learned a lot of techniques and instead of doing the wrong things like I was doing, you know, at home, I learned the right things to do. I learned, I learned how, how things work and why they work that way. Um, I don't exactly have the skill set to, to pull off what some of these other gentlemen did, but uh, uh, I'm going to get there, and, and I have that knowledge now that I can put to work. But what I didn't expect was the camaraderie here. Um, uh, the uh, everybody got really close to one another really quickly. Um, they all worked together as teams. Uh, everybody helped everybody else out. Uh, there was no selfishness. Um, everybody was willing to give everything they had, and of course, meeting the uh, the veterans was just an honor. Uh, I never served, uh, and I don't know what they go through. But they shared some of their stories, and, and they were they were they were sobering, but they were inspirational. You know, these these guys are, you know, they're 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 getting it. They're, they're they're living a good quality life, and they learned a lot. And their skills, and, and their determination uh, was was incredible to watch. So. Uh, uh, I'm certainly glad I came. Uh, couldn't I, I got way more than I expected. Thanks, Thanks. Hi, uh, Kevin Ronan from uh, North of Toronto, uh, Tottenham area. Uh, I had seen Rob at the wood shows in the Toronto area uh, maybe 10 years ago and then again recently. And I uh, always felt drawn to woodworking. I had done low level of woodworking, done some carpentry at home, uh, but nothing in the fine woodworking area. And um, so I would say there's something, uh, that's why you come, for the woodworking. But there's something for everyone, I would emphasize, that uh, from the low level, low skill level, right up to the high skill level, everyone will be challenged. I know I sure was. Uh, started to do things that I didn't think was possible, and maybe that was the appeal for this uh, fine woodworking, is that uh, it seems such a high level that, uh, you know, you could almost start saying, I would never be able to do that, but I'm going to jump in and challenge myself, and uh, you see that you can get some progress towards achieving some of those uh, woodworking goals. So um, the woodworking side is great. The other side, which I did not expect or not fully uh, comprehend, like the other guy said too, is uh, interacting with the uh, combat wounded vets was a remarkable, remarkable experience. Um, Learned a lot from them, probably as much uh, from them as I learned on the woodworking side of things uh, as well, and really opened my eyes uh, to things uh, going on with those guys right under my nose almost uh, that you don't really realize are happening. So, wonderful experience. Um, you come for the woodworking, but you leave a better person. Mm -hmm. Wrap it up, Ken. Ken Anthony, and I'm from just down the street in St. John, New Brunswick, and uh, I've known Rob and Jake for a few years now, and uh, dropped in on their shop once in a while and bought some tools from them and learned about the Purple Heart Project, and seen uh, firsthand uh, Rob's passion for the wounded vets, and uh, I, I must say I didn't fully understand it until this week when the vets came and I seen the interaction and I heard their stories. and. Now I get it 100%, and it's, uh, 
the Purple Heart Project is just fantastic. Rob is, is Rob's passion, and I can see the difference it makes in uh, their lives. And uh, as, as Kevin said, uh, and, and Clay and others, you come and you go home a changed person for the good. And uh, whether you're a wounded vet or whether you're just a, a civilian, and it's a wonderful experience to hear their stories, to see uh, the difference in skill levels and, and the camaraderie with everybody. It's a fantastic experience. So if you don't come, you're missing out. Thanks, Ken. Let's go eat some lobster. Yeah. Well, that's uh, <laughs> Friday night meal is uh, lobster. That's that'll get you here. I, I want to say thank you to these gentlemen, and we actually had. Uh, Michelle, we had uh, a rose among the thorns with us this week. Uh, we couldn't do this without them. We can't run the program with just us and the vets. We have to have the support of a group like this. They play such an integral role. They don't always get the credit they deserve. But these guys are able to open up. And I say these guys, I mean these vets are able to open up for the first, some of them for the first time ever in front of what were strangers just a few days before. And it's because of that atmosphere that gets created. Now, everybody has a love of wood, but there's something about what happens. I, I, magical would make it sound a little corny, but that's exactly what happens. And yeah, I, I'm, I am uh, privileged to be a part of it. And the advantage I have over these guys is I get to do it four times a year. If you want to spend a week learning uh, woodworking skills, hand tool woodworking skills that uh, you'll be able to pass on to your next of kin, and at the same time, contribute back to a group of people who put everything on the line for strangers so that we can enjoy the way of life that we enjoy, then check out our website, robcosman.com, look at the Purple Heart Project, and then give us a call, and uh, we'll gra gladly include you in our next class, and you'll get the taste of what these gentlemen are trying to tell you. Thanks for watching. <laughs>